I've got a review here for the Criterion release of Monsters and Mad Men. This box I bought, I guess, in 2007. And it's it's still going for pretty crazy money. It's like 40, 50 bucks, depending on what site you go to look for it. It's not on Blu-ray, <clears throat> but I love this set. I watched uh, a couple of these movies for the 100 Horror Movie Challenge. And I covered a couple of them during those daily vlogs I did, but uh, I wanted to cover the entire box set today. This has four films by Robert and Alex Gordon, and they were two producers in the 1950s. Their company is called Amalgamated Productions, and they were kind of a copycat of Roger Corman, AIP, and they produced two Boris Karloff classics, Quarters of Blood, and then The Haunted Strangler. And their success of these two films in 1958 or 59 led them to make uh, The Atomic Submarine and then The First Man Into Space. All four films are really, really good. And Criterion did a great job covering these films. Um, so you got two sci-fi films and you've got two standard horror film entries. Um, the the sci-fi side of this equation is these two films looks like this, and you've got a, a booklet which covers quite a bit about each film. It's got a little write-up on each film. Essentially, The First Man in the Space was a... Uh, well, back then you had you had a, the standard plot device was you've got a, a, an astronaut that goes into space, complications occur, and he comes back and he looks like um, a, basically a walking pizza. You know, he, and it's really fun, cheesy monster movie. Along, the, It's very similar to many other 1950s science fiction horror films that you're going to see. Uh, but it's a very enjoyable time, and the commentary track with the producers is worth the price of admission alone. Atomic Submarine is more of a um, alien invasion film, where uh, a nuclear submarine basically runs into a UFO underwater, uh, and they manage to get inside the UFO and discover this alien being and have to do battle with the alien being, being to try to get their submarine away from the UFO and back back home. So that's um, an equally good film, although the special effects are, you know, it looks like uh, a one, uh, it looks very much like um, it came from outer space. I mean, it's that kind of monster. And apparently the monster was so poorly constructed so cheaply constructed that they had to keep it stationary and they couldn't move it around so they had shot they moved the camera instead and did a lot of different angled shots to make it look like this monster was mobile but it's a lot of fun i mean if you like 50s horror films and science fiction creature features you're going to like these two films and the commentary and the coverage by criterion interviewing robert and alex gordon is is worth the price of admission now, as far as Boris Karloff, I mean, what, what else do I got to say? These two films were some of his last features when he was almost 70 years old. Um, in just a second, I'm going to have to stop this and come back. Hi, you hungry? Looking for a tempting treat? Hold on till I absorb some heat. Some added tang might please you, too. I'll slide into an oven fresh bun. And I'm ready for your eating fun. Why don't you try a juicy, good hot dog? Mmm, delicious. Okay, I'm back. A little bit of an interruption there. It happens. Yeah, so Quarters of Blood uh, was a Karloff vehicle where he is a doctor that discovers anesthesiology and is trying to introduce the concept of anesthesiology to medicine in the 1800s and uh, with mixed results. This is based on a true story. 
uh, Dr. Wells, I believe, who was uh, trying to introduce the, an the anesthetic concept <clears throat> prior to surgery. He, uh, I guess, he was blackballed and not he, no one accepted his his idea, and he ended up he ended up penniless and living on the streets for the sake of uh, trying to improve healthcare. Uh, so, but it's it's really more of a docudrama about uh, the discovery of anesthesia than it is a horror movie. But it's a great movie, and it's got a lot of uh, cutting edge scenes for that time period. It also stars Francis Matthews of Hammer fame, Dracula, Prince of Darkness. Uh, the other film is your standard creature feature, The Haunted Strangler. And this is a film where Karloff plays a, a man on a mission. He's trying to prove that the innocence of a, of a guy that was hanged for murders that he didn't commit. Uh, unfortunately, it turns out that Karloff is the murderer. And he discovers that he himself is the murderer and has been having blackouts and committing murders without even knowing it. Great, two great movies, and again, the, the commentaries on these are, are fantastic with Robert and Alex Gordon. Well, you got a great booklet here talking about Karloff. Uh, Christopher Lee was in one of his early roles in 1958 uh, in Quarters of Blood. He, um, in Quarters of Blood, you kind of had a, um, a Burke and Hare side story. Where Carlo, um, Carlo, where, where Christopher Lee and another guy are committing murders and selling the bodies for medical study, and they're getting Karloff to sign off on the death certificates. So you kind of got a Burke and Hare thing running parallel with Karloff's attempt to prove that uh, you can have a painless surgery through anesthetic. Great films, and you know, if you don't have this box set. Or these films, I, I can't highly recommend it any more than I have. It's just it's very expensive, as is most Criterions. But the Criterions are on sale right now, so maybe you can pick this up for under 40 bucks. Anyway, I appreciate you watching, and I will be back for another review shortly.